Look how tiny this country is. For comparison, this is the size of the United States. But what if I told you that the national team already played a FIFA World Cup? Yes, that really happened and they are not the only ones. So in this video, we will see the 10 smallest countries they have ever played in a tournament and how well they played. Starting with the 10th smallest, Haiti. Today we can't even imagine Haiti playing there, but it happened. For comparison, with an area of 27.7 thousand square kilometers or 10.7 thousand square miles, Haiti has an area smaller than the state of Hawaii. And its World Cup appearance was in 1974, when Haiti was the only CONCACAF national team. But they didn't even have a chance, because they fell into a group with Poland, Italy and Argentina. Until in the first match against Italy, Haiti surprised everyone by scoring the opener, started winning, but later suffered 3 goals and was defeated. In the end, Haiti lost all matches and against Poland it was 7-0. They were eliminated conceding 14 goals in 3 matches, a real humiliation. And if Haiti is small, in this video we will see countries 2, 3 and even 5 times smaller, believe it or not. So let's continue and move on to the next one. And with 21.9 thousand square kilometers or 8400 square miles, the ninth smallest country to have ever played in a World Cup is Israel. Yes, Israel, which has an area 19 times smaller than the state of California, has already played in the biggest tournament. That happened in 1970, when they were the only AFC team competing in the qualifiers and just had to defeat the Oceanian teams to secure a spot. But just like Haiti, Israel fell into a very difficult group, which had Sweden, Uruguay and Italy, two of the biggest world champions at the time and Sweden, which had also reached the final. So in the first game, the Israelis were defeated by Uruguay, but in the next match against Sweden, they managed to draw and in the last round against Italy, it was another draw. Israel was eliminated tying two games, one of them against a team that would be the finalist, not bad at all. And a country even smaller than Israel in area is one from Europe. Wales. In 2022, Wales played its second World Cup in history and with only 21,000 square kilometers or 8,200 square miles, it is the 8th smallest country to ever play in a tournament and they went to Qatar with lots of expectations. The first time they played was in 1958, when even reached the knockout stage but lost to Brazil. So in 2022, with Darren Ramsey and Gareth Bale, we to do even better, but they fell into a very tough group, with they run United States and England. In a match against the US, they drew, but against Iran suffered a bad 2-0 defeat and against England, it was 3-0. Wales finished last in the group, a real disappointment. But this campaign was amazing if you compare with the next country. And the 7th smallest country to play in the tournament is simply the worst team in World Cup history. There's a country that played 2 cups and in just 6 matches conceded 22 goals. El Salvador. For comparison, El Salvador is 8 times smaller than the state of Florida and it's only slightly smaller than Wales, but with a much worse record. They played their first World Cup in 1970, when fell in a group with the Soviet Union, Mexico, Belgium and lost all games conceding 9 and not scoring any goals. Then years later in 1982, they went to the competition again and in a group with Argentina, Hungary and Belgium played even worse. They lost 2-0 to Argentina and 1-0 against Belgium. But the humiliation was against Hungary, where they suffered the biggest defeat ever in the World Cup. 10-1. They conceded 10 goals in a single game. Unbelievable. So in two appearances, El Salvador was eliminated in both, scoring one goal and conceding 22. That's crazy. And there are still 6 countries smaller than El Salvador that played in the biggest football stage, one of them even 4 times smaller. So moving on, let's go back to Europe and talk about a country that's only 7800 square miles or 20,000 square kilometers. Until 1990, this nation was part of Yugoslavia, but gained independence and became a country with a very small area. It is 15 times smaller than its neighbor Italy and even smaller than the state of New Jersey, Slovenia. But even being small, managed to qualify twice. The first in 2002, when played really badly, losing all matches. But years later, in 2010, Slovenia qualified again. Didn't have the keeper Jan Noblak yet, but had Samir Kandanovic, captain Robert Cohen, and in a group with the United States, England, and Algeria, played much better. So much so that they beat Algeria and in the next game Slovenia drew with the United States. So if they also drew the next game would qualify to the knockout stage. But against England ended up conceding a goal in the first half and didn't score. So were eliminated. Slovenia national team almost made it to the next round. So now after Haiti, Israel, Wales, El Salvador and Slovenia, 
we've reached the top 5, the 5 smallest countries to ever play in a World Cup. And in 5th place, we arrive at a country so small that over 70% of the population lives in the capital. It's a country made of desert from the Middle East that you can barely see from a map. Kuwait! With only 17,800 square kilometers, Kuwait's the 5th smallest to play a World Cup. And their appearance happened in 1982, when they were managed by the Brazilian coach Pereira, the same who would later win with Brazil. But their group was way too difficult, with Czechoslovakia, Platini's France and England with Peter Shilton. Kuwait didn't seem to have any chances, but in the first match, they drew with Czechoslovakia. Could they dream of something there? Well, no. Their hope ended quickly, because they were defeated by France, 4-1 and then by England. Kuwait was eliminated. And if you didn't know that Kuwait had already played, let's now move to the fourth smallest. And here we find a country with only 14,000 square kilometers or 5,500 square miles that play not just one, but three World Cups. Northern Ireland. For comparison, Northern Ireland is roughly the same size as this region in Norway. And it's even smaller than this region in Italy. Compared to the United States, it's almost the same size as the state of Connecticut. And today, Northern Ireland ranks 74th on FIFA. But in 1958, in their first World Cup, they surprised everyone, finishing second place in a group with Argentina, Czechoslovakia and Germany. But in the quarterfinals, faced France and suffered a 4-0 defeat. Then the next time they made it to the tournament, they did even better. In 1982, Northern Ireland was placed in a group with Spain, the home team, Yugoslavia and Honduras. And they drew the first two games, were not defeated. And in the third round, we're gonna face the home team, Spain. It was gonna be very difficult. But then in Valencia, they literally defeated Spain, finished first and advanced to the next round. What an amazing run. But then faced France again, where suffered a 4-1 defeat. And they also played in 1986, but this time were eliminated in the group stage. And now after so many small countries, we've reached the top 3, the 3 smallest countries to ever play in a World Cup. And in 3rd place there's a country that not only played, but hosted the tournament. There's a country from the Middle East where 80% of the population lives in the capital, Qatar. Yes, the host country of the last cup is also the third smallest to play. Qatar is so small that on a map you can hardly even see it, you have to zoom in. It's only 11,500 thousand square kilometers or 4,400 square miles. For comparison, look at the size of Qatar compared to the UK. Now this Qatar compared to France and Qatar compared to the state of Florida. Look at the size of it. And their national team prepared a lot for 2022, even winning the 2019 Asian Cup and played other tournaments, like the Copa America and the Gold Cup. But all the expectations were frustrated when Qatar lost to Ecuador in the opening match. Then in the next match against Senegal, it was 3-1 and also lost against the Netherlands. The home team was eliminated. So now, before we go to the smallest country, let's go to the second place. And this is a country twice as small as Slovenia and Wales, Jamaica. Jamaica is a well-known but very small country. Located in Central America, a few kilometers south of Cuba, it's a little less than 11,000 square kilometers, 4,200 square miles. And it's twice as big as the first on the list. But it's crazy to imagine that Jamaica has already played in the World Cup. That happened in 1998 in France. At the time, they were the smallest country to play and with this iconic uniform were placed in a group with Argentina, Japan and Croatia. And the first game was against the Croatians, where they even scored but conceded 3. However, the real disappointment was in the game against Argentina, where they suffered a 5-0 defeat. Jamaica was eliminated. At least in the last game against Japan, they managed to score 2 goals and 1. The Jamaica national team finished 3rd in the group. At least won a match. So now we arrived at the smallest country to ever play in a World Cup. And if Jamaica is 10,000 square kilometers, this one is only 5,000. Less than 2,000 square miles. It is literally half of the size of Jamaica and look at the size compared to the United States. Now this is the size compared to London, to Paris and compared to Qatar. Literally half of it. And to get this country, we have to zoom in on a map to reach this little island called Trinidad and Tobago. It's an island in the Caribbean so small that if it were a state in the United States, it would be the 50th in size, only bigger than Rhode Island. It's almost 2,000 times smaller than the US, 69 times smaller than Germany and so on. Today their national team sits at the 96th place in the FIFA ranking, but back in 2006 managed to qualify for the World Cup. Yes, it's quite recent and were placed in a group with England, Sweden and Paraguay. Everyone thought they would be eliminated quickly, because none of their players played for a giant club in Europe. Their captain Dwight York played for Sydney FC and their number 10 played for Falkirk and Scotland. 
the best perhaps was a keeper, who played for West Ham. But then in the first match against Sweden, Trinidad and Tobago managed to keep it nil-nil. Yes, they drew with Sweden, a country 88 times bigger, that also had Ibrahimovic. Then the next game was against England, which had Beckham, Bruni, Gerrard, Lampard and so on. Training that into Obego didn't stand a chance, and everyone expected it thrashing. But England missed a lot of chances and in the first half didn't score. Then in the second half, Training that into Obego almost scored, but Sarri cleared it off the line. The match was ending in a draw. Until at the 83rd minute, the tall Peter Crouch scored a header, and at 90 plus 1, Jared scored another goal. 2 0. Training that into Obego was defeated, and in the last match against Paraguay, it was another 2 0. They were eliminated, but managed to go 173 minutes without conceding a goal. A huge feat for a country so small. These national teams didn't play that bad, but in this video I show what was the worst team of each World Cup, from 1986 to 2022. I think you're gonna like it. Thank you and bye.